All right, hi everyone. Welcome to another video with me and a scampering little kitty around, but he's playing with a toy right now. Uh, so anyway, uh, today we're going to be talking about the global version. And the global version, uh, or worldwide version, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's curious to see what exactly is happening, because, like, you think the worldwide version that we were kind of working towards would essentially have these anniversaries at just the same time. And we'd be celebrating one, but apparently, well, let's just talk about the producer letter and I'm going to read it off screen here. So enjoy Halloween, Lucia looking. Spooky. Hello, all players that are enjoying this blah, 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 global app, which I thought it was the worldwide app now, but whatever. Uh, this is Hiroki, the producer of the game. Almost time, I, I think this guy is very over. Anyway, uh, it's almost time to celebrate the first anniversary event since switching to the worldwide version. Now it's the worldwide version, but it's the JP app and the global app, whatever. Uh, the JP app fourth anniversary campaign will start on November 1st. Yeah, I know I made a lot of videos about this. Uh, this campaign marks four years since the WOTUB was released in Japan. Again, information tracks. A fourth anniversary event is also planned for April to celebrate the release of the global version. Again, why are we not just having a worldwide release, uh, like yearly anniversary and a half anniversary? Why does it have to be an app version for each one? Anyway, uh, to celebrate the global version, so you can look forward to that shit. Uh, that, it doesn't say that, but I'm paraphrasing. Uh, we prepared in-game events, updates for everyone to enjoy during the JP 4th anniversary, such as 10 guaranteed free 100 summon, uh, or 10 you are uh, max 300 daily free summon, 10 times summon, a special story event unit for the anniversary, and a collaborative event. So basically what they're talking about is FF9, they're talking about the event in that we've uh, talked about in the recap video, which had young Helena, young old, young Miraga, all of that shit. Uh, and of course, collaboration being FF9, but it's nice to see that you guys are getting the um, the uh, multi-pulls that we're getting it down to the exact same thing. Uh, we will be sharing further details on these in the schedule through in-game notices and official social media. I hope you're all looking forward to that. Okay, but just share it on here, too. Um, I hope you're excited there's only a few days left until it starts. This also track. Uh, this year, during the transition to the worldwide version, we made you all endure a dense schedule with many units releasing, and you couldn't even catch up in that time frame, so woof. Uh, even so, we were able to continue running the game. Hey, always a good thing. Uh, we would not have been able to do it without you. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, there's cat hair on my hand. I'm just shaking it off. I would like to express my serious, gr sincerest gratitude. Blah, 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 blah. Thanks so much for Uh, not my video, because we're, we're still going. But basically, I don't know. This is kind of dumb to me. Uh, I know that translation does take time, but if you're going to do something called the worldwide version, or just run everything at the same time for everybody. Uh, hire a few more translators and, I don't know, make the game better so that people will actually spend more money, I guess. I don't know, something like that. But seriously, uh, kind of a huge disappointment for me because I was hoping that we would all celebrate much more uniformly. Uh, the anniversaries, at least, since the events are pretty big. And, yeah, Road to Worldwide has not been overly positive. And at this point, I guess Hiroki is just a letter maker for uh, people. Maybe he's not. But I'm less than impressed with the announcement, uh, except for the fact that you guys are, get, I guess, getting all the multi-summons at the same time we are. I don't know. Uh, so... Let's talk then, I guess, about what you guys can expect for this week. As I show off my terribly unimpressive uh, overall thing. And, and I find Earth Elemental quickly. 
demo stuff. Nope. Just other stuff all the way down. So Melnia is what you guys are getting. And Melnia is not a unit I have. I didn't get her. I didn't pull her. I was not overly excited for her. And she essentially saw this happen on you. Spike of interest when she first came out. And since then, most Earth teams don't run her super all that much. Uh, it's not to say that she's bad. It's just that other compositions of units on Earth are generally stronger. Like, even Renoa has kind of just died off for the Earth element, I would say. Like, the most common thing is Dialdo. Plus, uh, at least if you were just running a pure, pure element team, and then maybe Rel, uh, maybe uh, some other units, depending on cost restriction. But overall, Melnia is kind of just faded a little bit on JP. And that could change and be a little bit different for Global because of some things that, has that JP doesn't. Man Eater up on her vision card called... The new vision card called Blood Soaked Road is probably going to go a little bit to making her generally better. Melnia is not a bad character. But she is kind of mid, and you have to keep in mind what is essentially about to happen on JP. JP is going to see the inclusion of two new win characters, and Global will probably be maybe a month, month and a half behind for those two new Wind characters. And Wind is probably going to see a pretty big surge in popularity as well as strength, and... That's kind of the question. If you're not just a Earth master type person, might be a good one to kind of just pass on. Melnia is also going to be around the time of anniversary, so if you really want her, you could potentially need banner if that's the case. But she's also pretty new for global, so she might not even be on those uh, JP app anniversary banners, which JP hasn't even. We won't know about them until tomorrow. Maybe tonight at the earliest, but very unlikely. So yeah. Melnia for me was a skip back then. And looking at where it is right now on Worldwide. Probably would say that it still would be a skip. But there are some things that exist on Global. Uh, you know, with like Warcraft and uh, that can power up gunners a little bit more than maybe JP has. I don't know. It's up to you guys. But my general impression is kind of a fairly easy skip for a 100 plus. Unless you like. But uh, yeah, Final Fantasy IX is right around the corner for you guys. And that includes a wind, a dark, and an earth character. And here's the best thing, is that JP will have those details starting tomorrow at midnight. Which means that you guys will get a sneak preview still and be able to decide this week, based on what you're seeing with wind, whether or not this is going to be... Melnia will really be worth it. So, great news for you guys. Really easy. So keep tuned in for those videos and uh, what you can expect for 9, and of course the Veritas units and the anniversary event, all coming in short. App near you. Not as shortly, probably. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.